And this is the moment I realized that grabbing my sword wasn't as easy as I thought. Hey guys, I'm Morgan, and today we're going to be doing a version of the Knave of Hearts, so pull up your hair and let's get started. I like to first sketch out my design with an eyeliner pencil, so find one that's sharpened, preferably. I'm using a black one because I think it'll be easier down the road what with the skull design, but brown or red would also work. I can't just paint based on my imagination, I'm one of those people that needs a reference picture. I just found some skulls on Pinterest that I liked, I'm modeling mine after that. Again, you don't need to draw out all the teeth beforehand. I just personally like two of skulls. It's easier down the road. Because this is a pulled face look, as in looking like the face is pulled up and there's a skull underneath, I'm also sketching out where I want my wrinkles to go. It's easier to map it out beforehand so there's less work later. For the eye patch, I cut a heart out of black paper. If you're going to be wearing this out and about or for Halloween, I'd recommend felt, maybe using eyelash glue around the edges to attach it, but I didn't have any. Paper looks just fine. Also sketching out where I want my scars to go. Now that is an important part. We're going to be using rigid collodion to make the scars, which is clear, so you can easily forget where you placed each layer. It also just looks better when the coloring is done underneath the layers, so I'm gonna do that first. I smudge out the black eyeliner and add some red eyeshadow for coloring, then begins the process of applying the collodion. If you don't know, it's an SFX product that smells a little like nail polish remover. Essentially what this product does is it pulls the skin around its, into itself to look like a scar. And it takes several layers, I ended up doing about 10 to get the depth that I wanted, 7 to 10, that's probably good. Just apply it where you want, wait the 2 seconds for it to dry, and then apply again. There's probably gonna be some pinching. I mean, it is pulling your skin in, but if there's burning, something's wrong, and please remove immediately. Pinching is fine, burning is not. But please be careful, this stuff can leave real scars if you are not careful. I recommend removing it with isopropyl mirastate, or again, just be very careful, but you can peel it off. Now begins the painting process. I'm using Blue Squid Pro White Water Activated Paint. Cream paints also work. I just love the coverage I get with this particular paint. Be careful not to cover up all your teeth detail work. This is partially why I like to use black pencils to outline the skulls. Next, I'm going in with a detail brush and some black water activated paint to fill in the jaw gap, border, and in between all the teeth. Now I'm taking a light brown shadow first to go over the wrinkle details around the mouth. I'm also going to use that to shade around some of the teeth that I thought might need more definition. I go back around the wrinkles later with a darker brown shadow to add some more depth. Thank you. 
No shading is complete without a complimentary highlight. So I'm taking a cream highlight and applying it between the edge of the skull now skin thing, that thing, and the wrinkle line that we just did. Then go back in and blend out the shadow on the wrinkle line so that it has more dimension than just a line. You want there to still be a line of sorts so that it looks like a wrinkle, but blend it out in a lighter color and then come back in with a darker brown or even a gray to define the wrinkle up against your highlight. Use a, and then I'm using a gray shadow to pull down the lines of my teeth. The lines of my teeth? I don't know, but the lines of my teeth. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Now the Knave of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, whatever his name is, anyway, he's a guy. Typically guys have thicker brows. So I'm using a eye brown, brown eye brown pencil to sloppily thicken up my brows. I don't really want them to look well groomed. I figured this assassin thief person, I guess it depends on what version we're talking about, but assassin thief person, he probably doesn't care too much about his brows, you know? So then it's just all in the details, sticking in my eyes with some more bright on the eyeshadow, adding some red, because red is around the eyes is always jarring. I also go back in and drag some red eyeshadow from around the edges of my scars towards my eye to give the illusion that they actually go underneath my eye patch. Then I got this great idea to paint my right hand as a skeleton hand, but it was hard enough trying to paint left-handed, cause I'm right-handed, that I totally forgot to hold it up so y'all could see. So I cut that. I attached my eye patch, eye patch, with tape, cause you know, this is totally high tech. Definitely going to last all day, but you know, like I said earlier, use felt, some eyelash glue around the edges and you will not have to deal with tape on your eyes. Throw on a two minute costume of mostly scarves and a random sword and you've got a finished Knave of Hearts look. Oh, and tie your hair back so that you remind yourself of Luke Skywalker. Definitely a vibe. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos.